Welcome to another episode of Installing Windows. In the last episode of Installing Windows, we realized that using a router wasn't the best option for cutting out these uh, window openings. And so, back to the Sawzall it was for a much cleaner cutout process. I also had to deal with a wood rot issue I kept running into pretty much everywhere on this uh, barn garage. And so dealing with that issue means that I have to replace the wood around these new windows so that I don't have to come back and mess with the siding later around the new windows when I decide to replace the rest of the siding. All right, so the way that this wall framing worked out, it was easier for me to uh, rough frame these windows slightly larger. Um, and that's just the way that it ended up working out between the uh, pre-existing wall studs. Um, so I framed these out slightly larger and then what I'm gonna do is come back and pad these back to the size that I need. <laughs> So I just took some half inch sheathing and padded these windows back to the rough opening that I needed. I then moved on and started working on replacing the siding. I made sure that I cut all of these slightly shorter than they were before so that they are well off the stone. I also back cut the bottom edge to give a nice drip edge along the bottom. as well as I sealed the ends with some sealant to help keep the, uh, the water from wicking back up into the bottom of the wood. Hopefully doing all this will extend the life of the siding significantly. I then flash the window. This is just a uh, sticky tar metal flashing from uh, Home Depot. It's fairly cheap. One roll I think costs like 20 bucks and it uh, is going to be enough to finish all these windows. This flashing actually overlaps the siding on the outside and then that overlap will be covered with the trim later on. So there's no way for water to ever sit on the sill and then run behind the siding if the windows ever do end up leaking. But they shouldn't end up leaking because we have a significant overhang and we also have flashing along the top of the window which I'm trying to show here but obviously my camera exposure was off and you can't really see much. Next I do a test fit of the window to make sure obviously everything fits properly before uh, I screw it into place, take it back out, make some adjustments, then put the window back in and we will finagle it into place and then finally screw it into place. I purposely made these rough openings very tight. I wanted this to be a very snug fit so that the foam that's installed around the window makes a nice tight seal. I am not going to be spray foaming these windows <laughs> because the last time that I spray foamed, it seems like every time that I spray foam a window I end up with problems. I've had the spray foam actually push the window too tight once it dried and then the last time that I used it I actually had the spray foam dry and then suck the window back towards the rough opening and it took a while to jam some shims in there and it just seems like every time I use spray foam it screws up the window so no spray foam on these I'm just going to be caulking it and uh, pushing some uh, fiberglass insulation in between any gaps and that'll be that. So now once the window's in, I went back and uh, finished nailed all of the siding. I used uh, galvanized nails this time before they weren't galvanized and they were all rusted off and the battens and boards were popping off the building. So galvanized this time, uh, wanted a nice tight hold there, something that'll never come off unless I want it to. And then we'll come back and finish the battens. Again, back cut all the bottoms of these uh, battens as well as sealed them with some sealant to help uh, keep them from absorbing water. So 
So next I ended up priming all of this wood, which was kind of a mistake because it's just not needed. Um, I was trying to use what I had on hand. Uh, we were supposed to get a big rainstorm uh, the next day, and I wanted to get something on this wood so that it didn't absorb a whole bunch of water uh, in the rainstorm. So. I found some primer, I primed it, and then later on I actually found some uh, paint that I had bought like a year ago and forgot I had, so I really didn't need to prime this. I could have just put a coat of paint on it and uh, been done. Now, as you can see here, here's where uh, I found the paint and, st <laughs> and started painting. Uh, this is the uh, Benjamin Moore Aura paint. I really like that paint. It's super expensive, but it's one of those paints that if you wanted to, technically you could get away with only doing one coat on a lot of things. Um, I always do two coats on things anyway for a couple of other reasons, but if you were interested in a one coat paint, um, I'd highly recommend looking into that paint. It is a whole lot more expensive than the big box store brands, but it's such a better paint. Um, trust me, it's worth it. So I just want to give you a quick cost breakdown on uh, what it costs to put five windows in this workshop. Uh, for me, it cost about $400 per window. The windows themselves were $200 a piece after taxes. And you say, well, where's the extra $200 come into play per window? Well, my workshop is board and batten siding, wood's ridiculously expensive. I had to replace most of the wood around all of these windows. Um, that was a lot of money. Um, also, you have to deal with the insulation. I had to deal with some wiring that needed to be replaced. Um, all of that has to uh, two by fours around the you know framing. They're expensive. Uh, nails, screws, flashing, uh, all that stuff, all that little stuff adds up to quite a bit of money per window. And the windows themselves cannot be done without doing all of that stuff. So yeah, about. 2000 bucks for five windows um, and that's not including labor um, obviously my time's worth something if i'm not putting windows in my shop i could be doing something else either having fun or making money but anyway you have to uh, include labor as well i really don't know what it would cost to uh, have someone install windows like this um, i haven't had to get a quote for in installing windows for a long time so i really can't help you on that but uh, material wise you're looking at about four hundred dollars per window <laughs> oh yeah i did stab myself when i was driving the truck i forgot about that <laughs> i then finished out the week with a live stream with my buddy mike emler check his channel out i uh, will link it below man it's so dark why is it so dark So I had a feeling that wasn't going to work last night because uh, I've already tried that with another nest up by the house that almost sent me to the hospital. Um, when I finally got that nest, I dug it up and the thing was over a foot into the ground. I think that this one's probably just as deep, maybe even deeper, considering they just dug right here. And I think that they got into uh, one of the holes that you know they just excavated. So that thing could be pretty deep. I'm going to have to think of another option and come back. Okay. I think we should probably get out of here. They're like everywhere. Short probably wasn't the best option. Tried the sneak, night attack. See if that works in the morning. <laughs> 